The security feature presents unwanted or accidental adjustment of settings or controls on your carefully configured console. Like all features on SI Compact, we've made it really easy to use straight out of the box. Let's take a look at it. To lock the console at any time is really easy. Press the security button, then lock. It'll ask you for a confirmation, yes. And now the console is locked. Attempting to adjust any control, we'll put the lock icon up on the screen, showing that the function's been locked out. Logging back on is very similar to the process on your computer. Press security. Choose who you are going to log on as, in this case, myself. Now enter the password for the user. R E W Q. Apply. And we're back in and logged on. Again, like your computer system, the SI Compact security works with users and profiles. And while you're logged on as the administrator, it's possible to create new users, create profiles, and edit those profiles. Let's have a look at those functions. We'll create a new user from the security page, and the add user button. We'll give the user a name, Q W E, apply. We need to choose a profile for that user. In this case, I'll choose guest. And we need to set a password for that user. Q W E, again, apply. When you're happy with all the settings, save. The new user has been created. Profiles are an easy way to manage users. From the Profiles page, we can easily edit or create a new profile. In this case, we'll create a new profile. First, we give the profile a name, T-O-P. Now, we choose from all of the selections which items we will make locked or unlocked. In this case, I'm going to lock the matrix, and I'm going to lock the main output processing. When you're happy that you've got the selection as you want, press save and a new profile has been created. That new profile can be applied to any of the users by the edit user function. In this case I'm editing my own profile, and now I choose top as the profile that I'm going to apply. And it's done. So that's most of what security is about. Lockdown, users, and profiles. But a couple of things worth mentioning. When you change the permissions in a profile, that applies immediately to all other users assigned to that profile. It's possible to delete an old profile that you don't need anymore, but not if there is still a user assigned to it. And finally, and probably most importantly, don't forget the administrator password. You can change it from the default if that makes it easier to remember.